What's up, y'all? Well, I thought I would tell y'all a little story. Uh, this has been a while back. I was working with a friend of mine to put in a security system for this local store. And he was outside smoking a cigarette, and he, he went inside ahead of me. He was going to set the ladder up, and I was like, all right, I'll be there in a minute, Wade. You know, I'm coming, bro, and like, don't start without me, <laughs> you know. Had like a couple pulls left to get off my six, so he goes in there with the ladder and sets it up and doesn't just set it up, he climbs up. So he's probably probably about eight and a half, nine foot in the air, maybe more. And um it, it, the ladder was set up on tile because it's like a ho it's like a little makeshift motel type thing we was working at and uh so it's got the big slabs of tile you know but it's nothing but cement slab under it so he didn't have the ladder on a rug or anything it was just on the floor and I mean as soon as I walk in the door I look at him he looks at me and the ladder shoots out from under him and I watched him just come crashing down to the ground and he landed on the ladder but he, and he landed on his back on the ladder, you know. And he rolled over and crawled like, I don't know, seven or eight feet and laid on the rug and you know, just sitting there in pain, just, oh. And me being the wonderful friend I am, uh, you know, I laughed. I laughed my ass off. <laughs> it's still funny thinking about it. So while he's sitting there in pain, I'm laughing. He's not too happy with me laughing. I'm like, but dude, you're okay. You know, you're okay, bro. If I didn't think you're okay, I wouldn't be laughing. Well, I mean, he, it, uh, come to find out, he broke his wrist, which, that's bad. Don't get me wrong, but he didn't break anything else. So, it, you know, I, he, really, he was okay. You know, nothing that wouldn't heal. Nothing, I don't think, life altering that wouldn't heal. So anyway, we're at his house later on at night, and he is sitting there, he's hurting, you know, of course he is, he's got a broken wrist. No, he didn't go to the doctor, but uh, he, he's sitting there, he's like, man, what, why, how are you so fucking just calm about it? I was like, because you're going to be okay, bro. I was like, hell, you're going to the dentist Monday. He's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I said, well, I was like, you're going to the dentist, dude. I was like, you know him. I was like, I guarantee you, you're going to walk in there hurting, and he's going to x-ray your fucking wrist for you. He's like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So he got me to drive him to the dentist that Monday. This happened on a Saturday. He got me to drive him to the dentist Monday because he has a five-speed car, and he couldn't very well shift it, you know. Plus, he was probably going to get, he had to get some teeth, you know, pulled, I think. So he, I'm sitting there at the dentist office. And I'm sitting in the waiting room, and I look down the hall, and I see my boy Wade. He is got his knees on the floor, and he's sticking his arm, like his arm up in the x-ray machine. It's one of those that circles around your head. And he is sticking his arm up in that x-ray machine. And the dentist that he knows is x-raying his arm for him. So I got to watch my friend Wade who installs security systems for a living, a dentist and a dental assistant try to read x-rays of a, of an arm. And uh, that was a pretty interesting story. I thought y'all might get a kick out of that. So I'll holler at y'all later.